Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a real quick video here. Uh, showing you one of the newest updates to Artistly. All right, um, I'm here logged in on my dashboard, and I don't know if you can see this right here, but it says, Welcome to Artistly V5, new update. All right, so I came in and I'm looking around, and you're going to click on Create Design. Now, typically, I tell you to use the advanced AI image designer because that one works best right okay this is the kind of image we get here you know really nice uh, clip art images and stuff and typically the fast ai image designer just didn't cut it all right until now so we're going to click into fast ai image designer and up here the very first thing on the left is AI Image Designer V5. And we're going to click on that. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to click on Create from Prompt. Now I'm just going to run over here to my Creative AI Prompt Library and I'm going to grab a prompt from over here. And let's grab this alligator with a coffee cup okay we're going to take that prompt and i'm going to bring it over here i'm going to paste it in now the first thing you're going to notice is we can select four images now it'll generate four images at a time instead of just one like you get in the advanced image generator and you have your choice here fast or high quality i select high quality and you can choose different aspect ratios. I'm just leaving mine square and I'm going to hit generate image. Now it's going to bring us over here to the output page. All right. I'm going to give it a minute. And this is actually pretty quick, even though it's generating four images and it really doesn't take as long as you might think it would. Now it's taking a little longer. There we go. It's all popping up. And look at these images. Look how great they are. And look at the text. It's all accurate. And I'm loving it. And like I said, typically when you came into the fast AI generator, it just didn't cut it. So I'm going to go back up here to AI Image Designer V5. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look around. And let's grab a different prompt, okay? You know what? Let's try one of these brushstroke prompts in here. So let's grab this one. This is a boho forest brushstroke. And we're going to hit create from prompt, paste that in there, four images, and hit generate. <laughs> and we'll give that a second to do its thing should be popping up here before too long. Alrighty, and here we have our four images. Now, these are the brush strokes, and they don't look bad at all. They came out pretty nice. I like these. You've got the little boho forest theme going on here. And let's look at them. Those look pretty nice. All right, we're going to grab another prompt something else let's do this retro dad this one was done in ideogram so let's see how the new v5 does it let's paste that in hit generate image and we'll give it a second to do all righty and here we go and that came out really nice too i like that We've got four different, and you know, like all AI, a couple of them, the text may not be perfect on, 
but it looks good overall. This one isn't bad. The text is right. It's just maybe not as nice and clean as it could be, but it's still, these still all look really good. I am really impressed with this V5 right now. Let me grab, let's grab this one, the 4th of July, three kids with sparklers. Let's grab this one and see what it does. And you can get any of these prompts I'm using um, in the Creative AI prompt library. I will leave a link for that uh, below the video. Um, just using some different prompts to show you how nice this V5 update is in Artistly. And you know, right now it is still a one-time purchase. You know, I've heard rumblings that this is going to move to a subscription base. I don't know when that's going to happen um, or if it really is. I just know those are the rumblings I've heard. And like I said, as of right now, it's still a one-time cost. So, you know, if you've been thinking about it, now might be the time to jump on it. And look at that image. How great is that? It has really, really, this V5 update is absolutely amazing. I am loving it. And there's even more to it than just how good the image generator is right now. Um, we're going to go over some of those things in a different video at another time. In this one, I just wanted to show you how much improved the image generator is and we're going to grab maybe one or two more from over here and see how it does with them okay let's look around see what we've got here maybe some pattern you know what let's do an alcohol ink one that is something that a lot of generators struggle with so let's see, I have this one here. It's the three parrots done in alcohol ink. And let's take a look and see how this does. Now I'm not expecting much from this because like I said, a lot of generators struggle with it. Typically I get my best alcohol ink output from Mid Journey. Uh, all the others try, but they just don't come close. So let's see how the new update of Artistly does. And, well, it's definitely not alcohol ink, but that is a great image. Even though it failed in the alcohol ink look, we still got a very, very nice output from this, okay? So... Now we know it doesn't do alcohol ink any better than most of the others. Um, let's try this. This is a real simple prompt, but something that's hard for some of these generators to pull off. It is the shape of a bear with a pattern inside of it. Okay, so let's give that a try. I am really just playing with this for the first time. I played with it for maybe a couple minutes before I decided to show it to you. I figured we could check it out together and see what kind of output we are getting. I am loving the four generations at once. I like having a choice when it, you know, creates my images. Okay, now this just isn't quite uh, what I was going for. But again, you know, this was a prompt for mid journey. I might want to get a little bit more specific. This one doesn't look too bad. It's not exactly what I was going for. But again, we still got some nice images. This one came out really nice. All right. And let's take a look at a couple others. Let's go in here to Rustic and Western and see what we can do. Let's do this cow skull, this boho cow skull. And we'll run this one real quick. Create from prompt. 
paste, four images, high quality, generate. And we'll give it just a second. All right, these came out really nicely too. That looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Okay, so this new update is really nice. And let me show you one more thing here. If we click on this little button that says Mirror Magic, let me go into one of my other image generators. Let's go into Mid Journey, okay? And let me scroll down through here and pick an image. What do we want? What do we want? Let's take, let's take this horse here, okay? See this? I'm just gonna drag this over and I'm gonna drop it in here. And now I'm going to ask it to describe it. And it is going to generate a prompt from that image, okay? Brown horse, white mane, wearing a blue bridle, facing left, all right. So let's use prompt, four images, and generate. And let's see how close to this we get. Alrighty, so this is what we got with that prompt. It's not the same, but again, this is Mid Journey. Mid Journey produces some very unique styles. This came out really nicely overall. In fact, let me grab this prompt that it generated this image from, okay? Let's go here, let's look at that. And let me bring this over into something like Prome AI, all right? And let's paste that in and see what we get from it. Like I said, Mid Journey is probably a very poor example to compare things to because Mid Journey has very unique styles and things like that. But now that prompt that it generated and that image that came out very similar. We've got some really nice looking uh, images here from this. So it's it's nice that you have the design or the, uh, let's take this one. Let's take one of these T-Rexes here. Oops, let's go back in here. Let's go to Mirror Magic again. And let's drag this little guy over. Drop him in, describe it. So you see what this image looks like, right? Ready to rule school with the T-Rex backpack. And let's describe. And let's use the prompt quick. Four designs generate image. Okay. Okay, and here is our T-Rex with the backpack, ready to rule school, school bus. That came out great. I love it. So that's it, guys. This is the new AI Image Designer V5 inside of Artistly. And that is just amazing. It is so nice. Let's come back over here to our personal designs. Look at some of these images that it put out for us. And they just look fantastic. Fantastic. I cannot get over how nice they are now. All right. So like I said, you can access this creative AI prompt library if you want to. I'll leave a link for that below. I'll leave a link for Artistly. Like I said, right now, this is a one-time purchase. So if you've been thinking about it, jump on it now, all right? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.